As per Gartner, APMM market is of approximately 2.7 billion USD and is expected to grow at the rate of 10% annually. You can see in the picture that AppDynamics is placed in the leader quadrant for APMM products in 2016. It has been in this position for the last 5 years. AppDynamics is also one of the fastest growing APMM product in the market as per market share. Now let's take a look at the solution architecture of AppDynamics. AppDynamics is built for production but there have been cases where the clients have found it useful in development and pre-production environment too. Its features like high scalability and low overhead makes it the best choice for production. It has a simple two-part architecture. Agents that are installed on your system that send data via one-way HTTPS to your controllers and the front-end called the controller that aggregates all these data slices and gives you a correlated view of your transactions. Now, let's take a look at the different types of agents. End user agents that monitors the user experience of your browser and mobile users. Application agents for languages such as Java, .NET, C++, etc that resides within your business logic tier and provides information about the business transactions from the code level. Machine agents that monitors your hardware infrastructure. Database agents provides your operation team visibility of various SQL queries and database internals with respect to your business transaction. They are not a replacement for DB monitoring tools but a quicker way to get to the problem for your ops team. Together, these agents work to automatically discover transactions, tag them, and then trace their execution path. All these require no deep app knowledge in your operations team, no code change in your application, and has less than 2% overhead on your systems. Now, let's come to the second part. The second part of our application architecture, the AppDynamics controller is available on-premise and as a SaaS version. The data slices sent by the agents are collated by the controller to provide you an in-depth view of your transactions using a browser-based user interface. The controller that we talked about is massively scalable, resulting in hardware cost savings. To cite an example, Cisco sometime back deployed 10,000 agents in 10 days for 10,000 JVMs across 23 data centers across the globe. AppDynamics monitors your application end-to-end, back-to-back to give you a correlated view of the transactions to help you understand what your transactions are, how they are running, and where they are having issues. All these at extremely low over overheads with no code change to your application. Now let's move into a live demo of the application. What you see on the screen is a dashboard called as a flow map that depicts the various components and transactions and their traffic in the architecture. All we had to do is install the controllers and agents and AppDynamics automatic, automatically without having need to tell it anything builds this flow. This is a typical e-commerce application. You can see that traffic is flowing through a web tier to an e-commerce service hosted on two nodes. This node further communicates to an order processing service and an inventory service. The order processing service is further communicating to an e-commerce fulfillment tier that will have a flow map of its own. 
AppDynamic automatically figures out what my users are asking the application and how the various components are working together to fulfill that request. The agents have great deal of intelligence built onto itself. It automatically discovers the flow of the application. This is not a one-time activity. Every time there is a change to the architecture, AppDynamics picks up this change on screen. This also doesn't need any knowledge, uh, deep knowledge of the application for your operations team. This not only provides visibility over your distributed transactions, but it also shows you cross application communication. Example, the order processing service pointing to an e-commerce fulfillment tier. The e-commerce service calling an external MySQL database. AppDynamics is easy to use. Your operations team can start rapidly adopting it, thereby giving a quick time to value. Now, let's talk about concepts such as business transactions, baselining, and problem detection. The most commonly used term in the last couple of slides must have been transactions. The reason for that is AppDynamics is a transaction-oriented APM tool compared to its competitors that are metric focused. The basic measurement of an application performance is through its business transactions. They are the fundamental unit of discovery and monitoring of a user's digital experience. No customer calls up the operations telling the queues are 80% full or the SQL query is taking too long. If that was the case, operation support would have been a cakewalk, right? What they call in is to report that the login is taking too long or I am not able to add an item to my cart. AppDynamics provides your operation team the visibility to quickly translate the customer transaction issue into infrastructure components with which they are familiar. Once AppDynamics agents are deployed, they count and measure and scores every single transaction that comes into the application. Over a period of time, this data is used to create a baseline for the application. This baseline helps us in understanding what the normal performance of the application is. AppDynamics use this data to create a transaction scorecard that you see on your right. It gives you the degrees of deviation from the normal behavior. It also gives you the percentage of transactions that are normal, slow, very slow, stalled, and the ones that have errors. This is a powerful method for anomaly detection as it automatically provides your ops team with the transactions that are way far from normal baseline. Many ops team at present find it difficult to define what is good behavior of the application. AppDynamics resolve this by auto baselining and providing the quickest time to value for operations team. In other words, AppDynamics tells you where the problems are rather than you tell AppDynamics where to look for. When transactions are way outside the baselines, AppDynamics flags them and takes a deep di diagnostic trace of the transaction called as a transaction snapshot. These snapshots helps you with information to dig deeper into a transaction to find the root cause for its deviation from the baseline. AppDynamics finds what your business transactions are finds their normal behavior and flags abnormal behavior. AppDynamics thereby tells the operations team where to look for when there is an issue 
thereby providing customers who use AppDynamics a quick time to value. Let's now talk about transaction snapshots. AppDynamics monitors every invocation a business transaction makes in the instrumented environment and accordingly each invocation is reflected in the metrics for the business application. For certain problematic, ish, uh, problematic business transaction invocations, AppDynamics retains a snapshot of the transaction. Transaction snapshots are retained and are available in the controller user interface. Snapshots provide a quick source of information for the level 1 engineers to understand the issues and a rich set of data for the level 3 engineers to find the root cause of the issue. Using snapshots, it's seen that customers achieve 90% better MTTR. Assume a scenario where it's off business hours and only a handful of L1 engineers with no in-depth knowledge of your application are manning the support help desk. Assume they get notified about an issue with the checkout operation. They can check the transaction snapshots to see the various issues with transactions in the application. There are two ways by which he could troubleshoot. On the left hand side, he can see the various potential issues along with their time contribution. He can drill deeper into one of their call graphs. Or on the right side, he can see the full flow map of the transaction along with their architectural components. It shows the various data flows that have happened to fulfill this request. He can drill down into one of the components and see the percentage of time taken by each of the methods. Even a level 1 resource who does not have any information about the application code can find out the method where the application has spent the maximum time. And check if there are correlated errors. He can then contact the relevant developers or infrastructure teams to dig deeper in, into the issue. Here you can see that it can also track requests from one tier to, uh, to another. In this case, a request from e-commerce tier to the inventory services tier. In case there are interactions with the database, he can further drill down into the actual SQL queries. See here you have a SQL query, let's see, which is a SQL query that took 99% of the time. In a typical production scenario, this may not be the only issue with this transaction. So AppDynamics provides a wealth of other information for your level 3 engineers. Slow calls and errors. Here you can see all the slow calls and errors that have happened over a period of time. Database and remote service calls. You can see all the uh, database calls and the remote services that have been executed. Server related data gives the data related to the operating system and the infrastructure to find if there were any infra or network issues when the transaction was being executed. You can see the volumes, you can see the memory, network, availability, etc.
then data collectors that gives a rich set of data about the cookies and http parameter values for a particular request you also if the customer has purchased log analytics he can find if there are any relevant logs in the errors related to this transaction and as you have seen earlier if a transaction involves java and the database you can trace your transaction up to the individual database sql query people familiar with other apm tools generally tend to associate snapshots with large overheads but remember that app dynamic achieves this with less than 2% overhead shorter time to triage higher focus for production and development environment and over 90% better mttr app dynamics all this makes app dynamics the best apm tool in the market now that we have discussed about transactions let's see another facet of app dynamics unified monitoring experience user experience app dynamics can monitor the user experience of your clients who are using your mobile apps as well as the clients using your browser apps here you can see the clients using the browser apps and here is the clients using the mobile app let's get into the details of the mobile app for e-commerce application here you see out of the box it can you can get critical real time kpis such as the traffic volume over time how many crashes there are per minute you can see the app loads by the country the carriers from which your mobile application is being accessed the mobile devices from which your application is being accessed you can see the percentage you can see the countries from which the requests are originating you can also get data into details such as the crashes that would have occurred so let's si try to see the crashes that would have occurred over the last one hour like you greater than one hour get the crashes that the crash count more than one okay so these are the crashes that happened and you can really go in depth into those crashes on the left side you can see the actions the user would have taken before the crash has occurred so you can see that the crash has occurred in the checkout view operations so let's see what he had done let's get the details you see the detailed stack trace this can be shared with the uh, developer to find the issue apart from that you can also get into the business transactions and find if there are any network issues or infrastructure issues when that issue happened two important parameters that app dynamics focuses on is availability and response time there are certain points of time when there is no traffic for for periods such as these app dynamics provides a feature called as synthetic monitoring synthetic monitoring using synthetic monitoring you can monitor a specific url or a multi page transaction So let's get into the synthetic monitoring. I come to the browser apps. Let me get into the details. 
here you can see the details of the synthetic monitoring that has happened. So you come to jobs and you can add a synthetic monitoring. You can specify the browsers from which the monitor has to go, uh, the request has to go. You can choose locations from a list of locations from which the request will go. So these are places uh, from which app dynamics can send requests or si can simulate uh, user requests so you can schedule them probably you can have them after your business hours you can set timeout values etc this monitor can be used to correlate issues faced by real users these can also be traced back to their business transactions we can thus see app dynamics provides a single user interface to monitor user experience and all other application related kps for a quicker mttr now let's talk about database and server monitoring facilities in app dynamics app dynamics as soon as you configure app dynamics agents you get out of the uh, box kp uh, a lot of out of the box kps so let's look at some of the kpis provided for this mongodb see here we can see a dashboard with various uh, kps such as the load and time spent in the database the top 10 query weight states the average number of active connections you can see the topology of the database you can see the queries so let me just check the details of this query you can see the resource consumption of over time which is the machine that executed this query can see the query text you can see the sessions that are connected to this database etc so a large variety of uh, out of the box uh, kpis uh, you can get for database monitoring now let's take a look at the uh, server monitoring so these are the servers that we are monitoring at present for the e-commerce application let's take a look at the details so these are the kpis that we get out of the box that are availability of the servers in the last one hour the cpu utilization the memory the network utilization the volume their usage the top 10 processes consuming memory top 10 processes consuming CPU, etc. The database and server monitoring facilities provided by AppDynamics as part of unified monitoring is not supposed to replace the existing database and infra monitoring tools, but to provide enough information for a support personnel to provide first pass triage of an issue. He also can provide more focused information to the infra teams to quickly pinpoint the issue, thereby reducing the MTTR. We have till now seen how App Dynamics automatically creates baselines and then generates events when certain conditions are met. Now let's see how we can use these events to manage the application. Application performance can be managed in two ways. Point in time facilities using which you can create health rules, policies and action that can be used to perform certain remedial operations on the application. And for longer time, you have something called as dashboards and reports that can be used to uh, create various types of dashboards using which we can visually observe the various facets of the application. This can not only really be from the infrastructure end like a graph with the HTTP status codes on an Apache server, 
but also business related dashboards such as the total sales that happen in last one hour. Now let's think, get into the details of each of these. Health rules. A health rule can be defined when a particular scenario occurs in an application. For example, when the number of HTTP connections cross crosses a threshold. These health rules that are manually set and the performance uh, metric alerts that we discussed on the previous slides together form the triggers for the actions that can be invoked. Health rules can be for a uh, specific time period or all time periods or identify the occurrence of certain critical conditions. See here we can see a critical condition. Let's add a condition. So it can be for a baseline. You can select what baseline you want, probably for the last 30 days and add a condition with a static value greater than 10 probably. So we can create a condition by mixing and matching a stat, uh, static values as well as dynamic values. So probably you could create a threshold with a baseline and the CPU utilization data of the server uh, which is having the web server above a static threshold. Now let's discuss what are actions. So for each of these alerts we can perform a remediation. So these are called as actions. Action could be as simple as sending an email or sending a SMS or it could be something that is diagnostic like take a threat, dr uh, threat dump when uh, a situation happens or take a transaction snapshot. Apart from this, you could also have full scale remediation like uh, you could auto scale your compute devices on it. If it's on cloud, you could set that up or you can automate your uh, to run certain uh, scripts using a run book. And apart from all these things, you could also have uh, your app dynamics uh, integrated with a ticketing tool that could create a ticket for you. Now let's talk about policies. So policies define what sort of actions have. Uh, so for the events that are performed on a health rule, what sort of actions can be performed? So this is called as a policy. So you can create a policy here based on the various uh, health rules and other events and say what action has to be taken. Now let's talk about the longer time facilities. So longer time facilities you have dashboards and reports. So dashboards are visual representation of certain uh, uh, KPIs. So this could be out of the box al also you could build one on your own. So the, you could have dashboards for specific uh, users like developers and probably you could have a, another set of dashboards for the CEO of the company. Reports. So apart from this you also can create reports based on the parameters you want and this could be mailed at a certain point of time to a certain group of people probably you could take the uh, health of the server at close of business every day and this could be mailed to the uh, unix admins every uh, day at the end of business so apart from this, App Dynamics also has some great facilities like War Room, wherein various people can get to into a chat room and discuss the issue uh, on a live chat room while seeing the uh, metrics side by side. App Dynamics also has various features such as scalability analysis and release comparisons. So together, these provide comprehensive uh, visibility and automated response that 
provides the client a better MTTR. So till now we have seen how app dynamics can be used to reduce your uh, MTTR to identify issues, find issues with your uh, transactions, etc. Now let's see how app dynamics can be used. The analytics feature of app dynamics can be used to expand business and that can be used to connect your business data with your uh, application performance. App Dynamics Analytics can uh, monitor various data such as your user data, your uh, transaction data, your log data. So all these data are stored within um, uh, within App Dynamics and can be uh, used to pull out amazing dashboards and widgets. So let's see a scenario. Assume your application was down for last two hours and you want to know what was the business impact due to this outage so I can very easily do that I go for I take out the data for last two hours I add a criteria I find the application so let's say it's e-commerce application add another criteria I go for the business transactions so let's find who are the people who had an error when they did a checkout so you have a big uh, list of data now how do you visualize that I go to visualization in the y-axis I put car total and on the x-axis I put the user experience so you see that in the last two hours due to the uh, normal transactions you have got around nineteen thousand dollars and due to errors you have lost um, close to around three thousand one forty seven dollars this is a huge amount so you see how you can uh, on a sing with with a few clicks you can find how much is the revenue you have lost now assume you want to run a win back campaign and um, recover at least some of this three thousand dollars that you have lost so you you need to know who are the people who got an error so that is also pretty easy I come to data So uh, here I add user experience as a criteria and I add a filter I find only people who have had an error so I get a list of error now let me remove um, let me just add things like uh, customer email customer name and probably the customer city and I remove data that I do not need like user experience you already uh, know that it's error so I remove that now I have the list of people who have had an error and the city from which they are coming from I can very easily uh, export it to an excel sheet and give it to my sales team to say okay these are the people who uh, uh, got an error they could uh, email these people to recover at least some of the money uh, you have lost so you see how easy it is to use app dynamics uh, to uh, connect your application performance impact to the business impact and unlike uh, unlike most of the other tools in the industry app dynamics provides you actionable data using which you could improve your business thank you